Hey, welcome back to the Friday Funnies and to celebrate a week of celebrations. Man, we had a whole, we started off celebrating on Monday, celebrating the fact that we got cheated out of an hour of sleep. And then we found out that the demon, you know, also known as daylight savings time, has been said to lead to an increase in heart attacks and car accidents. So on Monday morning, you wake up and it's later than you think, and that anxiety could trigger a grabber in you and, and, and cause you to sleep or, or to drive as though you were sleep deprived. Then yesterday we had Pi Day, the, uh, the day's date, 314, first three numbers of Pi. And if it were not for Pi, we could not calculate the total area of a Pi. Huh? Think about that. And then today is the Ides of March. You know, what a good day for Julius Caesar, but it's the 15th of March. And, you know, he had just introduced, poor guy, his name is salad dressing. He named it after himself. And Caesar salad just didn't take on with the people. I guess it was kind of like Trump vodka, you know. Anyhow, I think we should turn the Ides into a holiday instead. Celebrate something that you would rather do. For instance, I'd rather not go to work today. I'd rather have a steak than kale. I'd like another beer. It's the Ides of March. Now, I'm now planning a big event for Sunday, uh, celebrating St. Patrick, the patron saint of drinking. And you know, that, on that day, there's going to be parades, there'll be green beer, general debauchery to celebrate the life of a man who drove all of the lawyers out of Ireland. Do what? I'm sorry, drove the snakes out of Ireland, not the lawyers. But, you know, <laughs> tomato, tomato. Anyhow, celebrate safely. But right now, I'd prefer that you'd watch the Friday Funnies. In Nimbin, Australia, two men who knew each other got into an argument. And then man... A approached the house of man B, who came out of his door holding a bow and arrow. So man A took out his cell phone to record the event, at which time man B shot an arrow at him, which went right through his cell phone. You know, it pierced his cell phone and knocked him back a little bit. No major injury was incurred. And I credit this, this, this incident to either one, incredible aim, two, incredible luck, or the fact that Nimbin has the reputation of being the marijuana capital for Australia. Good day. Fairhaven, Vermont sounds like my kind of place. Rather than choose from a roster of politicians, the citizens of Fairhaven elected Lincoln, the GOAT, to be the mayor of their city. Lincoln is a nanny, no, not profession, I mean, that's what she is, and she was sworn into her new position on Tuesday, and her first act of May as mayor was to drop a big steaming pile. Lincoln boped in front of everybody, indicating the kind of administration that fair haveners can't expect. Lincoln will serve a one-year term at mayor, after which she will probably be barbecued. In Christianity, Lent is the 46-day period that precedes Easter. It's a time of reflection and fasting, and it prompts many followers to give up something for that period, something they enjoy. Some people give up chocolate, others give up liquor, but Del Hall is giving up everything except beer. Dell works at the 50 West Brewery in Dayton, Ohio, and he has vowed to live on a beer-only diet until Easter. No chips, no jerky, no peanuts. It's, he, he said the, it's just going to be him and beer for 46 days. He said so far the diet has not affected him at all, but he does seem to be going to the bathroom with greater frequency. Hey, that's it, my friends, for another week. Please enjoy St. Patrick's Day. Coming up, enjoy uh, today the Ides of March. And you can do anything you want. Other than that, I'll see you next Friday. Have a great weekend.